Hey everybody and welcome to the stream. Carl's bad new Mackie call. Gonna get it good tonight. Tell you what. Fucking Al Qaeda. Excuse the language. Asshole Al Qaeda. So we start off the stream every night. Usually almost most times by saying hello to a few people while we're waiting for the live stream to warm up. We stream around 7 or 8 p.m. most nights in British Columbia, Canada, Pacific Standard Time. And I say hi, Jester, Miss Milky. We just passing through, mass sterilization, missing sky, moments not anymore, Stacy Lane, Candace, Kurtzer, and Kate is saying that uh, Hound's Fukushima site, go over to Kate's site, is doing really well. She's really happy. Hang on. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Radioactive Banana, Camshaft, Albert, DC, Kurtzer, K, Stacy, Candace, I got. Uh, Kate saying she can't, uh, you'll say Kate says she can't view the video on Firefox. She's having times. Hi, Lori. Uh, what was that, Lori? I missed it. Comments flying. Lori got flagged by you, to crew creatures. Uh, hi, Brian. Jester. Camshaft. Camera zip free. Tick, tick, tick. Boom. Just passing through. Toxic. Penny. Miss Milky. Popcorn. Got your popcorn. Two dollars here. Three dollars after the show starts. Get it now. Why is still? Friggin' hot! Arf, arf, Miss Frill says. Yeah, hugs, Kate. Thank you for all the work you're doing, honey. It's very important what you're doing, okay? You're doing the right thing, all you folks. I don't need to tell you that, but I want to just make sure you understand. Hide your charge cords! Charger cords! Dana's here! Woohoo! Moment's not anymore. Cap Red! Pam! DC Occult Princess Gavin Dippy. Hi, Gavin. Poor Gavin gets spammed so often. Yeah, I gotta have to go to the iPhone rehab charger center. Miss Melky's right. She knows, man. It's addictive. Friggin' bunch of lawyers in Carlsbad, New Mexico, poisoning their own population. No! They got another release, but it's not from Carlsbad. <laughs> We found more radiation. But it's not from Carlsbad. No, heavens no. Well, you've been down back down in the hole, right? Well, no. But you went down and got the air filters, right? No. Well, how do you know it's not from down there? Because somebody said it was, and they're from the governments. The government. Ooh, so they can't, they wouldn't lie to you, would they? Right. Hi, Laurie. MSS, MSVS, scrapping last night. Um, Stacy, Tree, Kurtzer, Craig. Okay, here we go. Kevin, Tracy, hi Tracy. Basic data. <laughs> Greetings, Dana in class. The spring of 2004 class here coming out of the Fukushima Hounds, the Hounds of Fukushima. Michael Hand. Okay, there we go. Mickey Smith, Starlight. Hi, Starlight. <laughs> missing sky stole her son's iphone charger iphone licking iphone charges is a horrible addiction it's worse than heroin it's worse than heroin i can't kick the habit i'm out breaking into people's homes and steal their iphone chargers i can't deal with it just one more iphone charger my room walls are gonna cave in Mwah. i know for art all right, there you go. I'm gone. How many minutes? Four minutes and 15 seconds. That's a new record for me saying hi to everybody. Might as well go for five minute one. Well, uh, double hoop nation. And let's see if we catch a few comments. Should I lick my mouse? I don't have an iPad charger. I don't got one. I gotta lick my mouse. Where's my mouse? I gotta lick my eye. I don't got one. I've been faking it. But it's almost good. 
gives you a little rush. Oh, oh, it gives you a little rush. It's like an iPhone. We all got to get iPhone chargers and lick them. Lick them and everything will be okay. Just close your eyes and pretend you're licking an iPhone charger and it'll still be okay. Because some crazy, kooky, whack job told us so. That's pretty cool. They can't use bananas no more. They can't use walking in the sunshine as an equation of E equals MC squared anymore. They can't use the normal crap they've been using for five decades because it doesn't work anymore. You get more radiation from a banana. You get more radiation from a potato than you will from Carlsbad or Fukushima or anywhere else where radioactive rainfall or fallout has occurred. How crazy is that? No matter where radioactive fallout occurs, it's like a banana. It's like the background radiation of walking in the sunshine. It's like licking an iPhone charger. <laughs> I'll never get sick of that one. I'll never give this up. I'll never give this up. What's up with all the trolls we had last night? They showed up and in three minutes I got seven thumbs down. In ten minutes I got twenty thumbs down. And then they just gave it up. It's like they all came in and no licking the knife, no licking iPhones, I know. Well, okay, let's get started because I'm starting to be dorky now. It's my addiction to Miss Milky. <laughs> I can't help it. IP Robinson Dick says standing foot. Yeah, I hid my charger. I'm gonna put that there. We ain't never gonna forget. It's like a pacifier. Hi, Chris Burton. Um, 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 um. I feel like my dog was always licking that shit. Um, 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 um. Watching Oprah licking my iPhone charger. I'm watching Oprah licking my iPhone charger. I'm watching Oprah licking my. I'm watching Oprah licking my iPhone. Everything is gonna be good. Obama's going to take care of it after with Obamacare. You will, no needles will be used more than four times in Obamacare. Hi, Stephen Meyer. Folks, Stephen is uh, working really hard. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Got everybody nom nom nom. Ignore the trolls this time. Where's the fun in that? That's sacrilegious. Ooh, making up words. All right, I know I fucked around. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, by the way, folks, Miss Milky put up a video. Fukushima, three years down and thousands more to go. <laughs> so the waste isolation pilot plant in Carlsbad, New Mexico. No offense to people in New Mexico. Officials admit there's a new release of plutonium and americium. How about plutonium and uranium-238? Any takers? Because that's what nuclear waste is. Plutonium is only an itty-bitty snot compared to the uranium-238 yellow cake. It's contaminated, contaminated with americium, neptunium, plutonium, zestrontium, cesium. It comes directly from a chain reaction. Now, so, just get something straight in people's minds. That once the rods go through a nuclear chain reaction and they throw them away, they're supposed to be in a sarcophagus till the end of time because they're no good for a chain reaction so per se anymore. I'll tell that to the Japanese. But they're extraordinarily toxic and deadly till the, end, the very end of humanity. The uranium-238... It's got a 4.5 billion year half-life. And so in order to understand half-life, you multiply it by 10. That makes a lot of sense. Almost as much sense as an eye, licking an iPhone charger, I know. But a half-life, its full life is times 10. It decays into a radioactive isotope, radioactive isotope, radioactive isotopes in 50s, right? In, in the halves. So half turns into a quarter, quarter turns into an 8, 8 turns into a 16, to a 32. But that goes on times 10. Right? So you see how the law works? So when you have a radioactive isotope, it's got a half-life of whatever, you got to multiply it by 10. 
That's the rule of thumb. Not as good as an iPhone charger. But pray that you're good. No, I like the iPhone charger better. Oh. I'm going to get lit from leaking my iPhone charger. They're going to put me on a nuclear waste site. Mm -hmm. Hey, I tried dipping this in sugar today. It's actually pretty good. Very addictive, though. Very addictive. Went through a five-pound bag of sugar in two hours. <laughs> um, my tongue still hurts. More expected in the friggin'. F Did I just squeal that time? Whip officials admit new release of plutonium and americium. Forget about the uranium 238, eh? Forget about it, huh? That 234, 235. Who cares about that? Did they say plutonium? What is it? Plutonium 238, 239, 240, 241? What is it? It's plutonium, Dana. No, no. What is it? 238, 239, 240, 241, 240. Sound like bingo. Plutonium 240, bingo! You can probably do that, right? I know I'm being goofy again tonight. I'm sorry. I had a, such a freaking day. I just wanted to strangle a taxi driver from Carlsbad. Well, that's a terrible thing to say. I want to strangle a whip iPhone uh, closet creature. Okay, I don't really want to do that either. I don't want to get my hands dirty. So look, that's a whole lot. I just screwed up here. Sorry, folks. Let me go back to my 1935 newscaster voice so I can control everything. Associate Press, March the 19th, 2013. Ooh, screwed it already. They says, this is uh, March 19th. That was yesterday. They're saying they're, they expect more releases, but it's not from Carlsbad. But they expect more releases. They don't know where the fuck it's from, but they expect more releases. Like, who the frig is in charge of this uh, lion machine they got there? Does any of them have a friggin' clue what they're saying? Does anybody really, is anybody actually in charge? Or do they just all go out and lie, create their own freaking lies? Oh, it's like an iPhone charger. It's like licking a banana. Oh, I got that backwards. It's like eating a banana. But if, if you if you eat an iPhone charger, the potassium-40 that's in there, you off-gas it. Now, the plastic was probably, and the lead and everything else in there is probably going to screw you up really bad. But you're not going to get radiation. But there is normal, insin insignificant, indigenous background radiation that some reason keeps creeping into every single conversation there is. And this is how they lie to you. So a banana, for instance, when you throw that into the equation, you would get more radiation, right? Dr. John Neal from Oklahoma about the WHIPS release in New Mexico, Carlsbad says, you would get more radiation when you're eating a banana, but if you eat a banana, you off-gas the 12 becquels of potassium-40. So how the fuck do you get more radiation, right? He deserves to have a banana shoved in his face. More than once. He deserves to be in jail for a long time. He deserves to lose all of his degrees forever for that single statement. That's how egregious it truly is. That's how outlandish it truly is. That's how misleading and manipulative that it actually is. Not as bad as the phone charger routine, but definitely bad. Definitely really bad, okay? So, how come the media never fact-checked it? How come the media supported it by saying not all vegetables or all fruits are good? And then they segue into Dr. John Neal who says, you'll get more radiation from eating a banana than you would from the waste treatment facility, potted plant. But see, if you eat a banana, you off-gas the exact same amount. If you drink 7,000 Beckwell's like Ken Buesler from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution uses all the time. You off gas it. It's, it's irrelevant. It's got nothing to do with this equation. And so this is how they avoid talking about uranium-238. They bring in americiums or bananas. You know, an americium, right? He says there's a billionth of a gram in your smoke detector. Why? Why are you putting that when it's supposed to be on a nuclear waste so you tell the end of time, do you figure that it's going to be contained in that? So slowly but surely, it, it infiltrates every aspect of everybody's life. 
right? This is how they do it. There's over 2 million industries on nuclear and none of them are good for you. All of them, those industries could be done with other technology that has no, you know, lifetime effects on this planet. If they put the 4,800 peer review academic studies that are published every day and locked away at Ulster Springer and Wiley Publishing Houses, 20,000 academic prestigious journals every day, that they get the copyrights for free to all your peer review academic studies from all your universities, how come? That's why you're in this mess in the first place. And so they roll out useful idiots who equate serious radiation. If I was a parent, and I was at the Carlsbad meeting and somebody said that, I would pick the chair up and smash him. I'd be trying my best and I wouldn't care if I went to jail. That wouldn't bother me at all. We need the attention. It's a small price to pay for the rest of the planet is to fucking shut one of these cunts up, to smack one of these fuckers up the side of the head. Because that's the only thing that's going to fucking change it. I'm trying to fucking beg them to give it up Trying to beg the media to stop fucking lying, stop using bananas, stop using potatoes, stop using potassium-40, period, is a waste of time. And so throttling one of these fucking monkeys, these cocksuckers, these fucking traitors, these fucking maggots, I don't got a problem with that. Because that's what's going to happen. That's the only way anything is ever going to change if you fucking string it up, literally. They're just going to keep lying. You know, fuck them. They can go fuck themselves. They get zero respect. We put them, we gave them all the money they ever wanted. We gave them the best institutions available. And they come out and fucking mock us. Over and over, nonstop. Hang on. These arrogant fucks. Come out and mock us with bananas and iPhone chargers. Who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? You won't say it to my face, you fucking monkey. I'll tip you fucking over, you cunt. You fucking prick. You're the fucking problem. You're the reason we gotta be here every night because you're out there fucking manipulating everybody and you're not getting away with it anymore. We're not putting it up with it anymore. We're not going to sit by anymore. We're calling you out every fucking time. And I get my hands on you, you prick. I guarantee you, you'll be getting it. I don't give a fuck. Put me in jail. I don't give a fuck. If I get to knock some of your fucking teeth out of your head, I don't give a fuck. Because that's what it takes. It really truly does take this kind of fucking momentum to actually change something. Speaking nice to these creatures, these monsters, these maggots, these vicious parasites that are feeding upon you and your loved ones, on your ignorance, because they keep you in ignorance. These universities, all these professors, equating it consistently, constantly, deadly radiation, equivalent of a banana, or an iPhone charger, or a potato, or walking in the sunshine, or a dental x-ray, or a chest x-ray. Do you got any idea what kind of lie this is? I know people say, Dana, that's freaking over the top, Dana. Holy crap, man. I don't fucking, you almost sound like you're calling for violence, dear. No, I'm not. I'm saying that if I get my fucking hands on one of these creatures, I'll show <laughs> Don't think I wouldn't do it. Don't think I won't bang the chair at their head. Don't think I won't pick my shoes off and throw it at their fucking head. Don't think for a second I won't push them down a set of fucking steps. I don't care if I get arrested. If that's what it takes to bring attention. If that's what it takes to actually put this out front and center. You bet your ass. I'd hang myself right now from a banana if I thought I could fucking save this friggin' nightmare. That's a twisted thing to say. But you understand where I'm coming from. That every time they say the word banana, or iPhone charger, or walking in the sunshine, and equate it with nuclear fallout, they're stabbing you. Personally. To death. They're stabbing your loved ones to death. Every fucking time these 
Every time the media runs that story and don't fact check it. Do they do not do they not deserve a shot in the head? I gotta go back to twenty years ago where you gave the prick a shot in the head and made the best man win. And the loser bought the winner a beer. No matter if he was right or wrong, just to put it behind him. That's the kind of shot I hit I'm talking about. And get him to come on over to the winning side. Because we cannot maintain this lie any longer. You can't, we can't maintain what's happening and just ignore it and it's going to go and pretend it's going to go away because it's not ever under any circumstances, but it's accelerating. Look, you got St. Paddy's Day, you get that. You pour a die in the river, you fucking friggered. You can you can wrap your mind around that. Can you? They put dye in the river and the river changes color. Can you wrap your mind around that? Does that friggin' can can you visualize that for one second? The trolls that are out there, the naysayers, the boot licking, cheerleading lap dogs. Every day, fourteen hundred and forty minutes a day, truckloads of dye going into a river for over three years. And if you got in a helicopter or a fucking fighter jet, how far down river after three years of 1,440 minutes a day uh, dumping truckloads of dye into a river, same color, how much, how many of the estuaries, how many of the lakes, how many of the communities are gonna spew out that color dye in their drinking water how many birds' arses are going to be the same color as the dye you put in there because they're sitting in the water and their arse got dyed and their feathers are all... That's what's going on with Fukushima. Not only in the ocean, but in the jet streams. Do you get any idea how serious this is? Do you, do you think I'm upset people for something to fucking do? Do you think I'm here ranting and raving? I'm not really ranting and raving. I'm not. I'm not ranting and raving. I'm telling you, like, the, 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 the straight fact, period. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm not misrepresenting anything either. I'm not manipulating anything. What is it going to take? What is it going to take to get these fucking monsters to stop saying that? in all the media, and all the PR firms, and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, all the universities, Dr. John Neal, <clears throat> all the industries making a fortune off of this, what's it gonna take to, 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 to turn this clock back? Is it gonna take an act of violence? Is it gonna take them coming after us before you finally put your back to the wall? They already got you. They already got your back to the wall. You ain't got anywhere to go. The only part you got to go is push back, is to push forward, to put your friggin' shoulder down and fucking stand tall. See, they can't handle the light of day. They can't do what I'm fucking doing. They can't call me out. They can't point, they can't put attention on me. All he can do is demonize me. All he can do is lock me away. But they can't fucking take me one-on-one -on -one in a debate. None of them can. And they can't do it to you either. They don't have that. All they can do is hook up with the media and have the media fluff their story up and put it out there. That the radiation from chain reaction is like a banana. Why wouldn't you want to grab that by the throat and smash it right in the fucking head as hard as you could? Name one reason why. I can't come up with any reason why I should knock their fucking teeth out of their head. And not one. In fact, 20 years ago, they were on the stage saying something like that. They get a fucking bottle in the side of their head pretty fucking quick. From the parents in the community. But now the parents are too busy with fucking Oprah. Too busy with Fox News. Which is not news. It's not. News is your academic peer review studies. News doesn't come on a TV 
channel, okay? News is in your institutions, in your peer review academic studies, that a thousand hours of children labor, you got a thousand pages, you got tens of thousands of dollars from your tax money invested into it, you got a multi million dollar facility to experiment with it, and you got other institutions that done the same experiments and peer reviewed it. That's fucking news. Celebrities is not news. Whatever Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or ABC or NBC got to say is not news. It's garbage. It's junk. It's disgusting, maggot misdirection. Everything that comes out of their mouth is a finely craft PR propaganda machine for a handful of corporations that are going to murder this entire planet and every species on it and is well on their way to accomplishing the job. And so at what point are we going to push back? We're not pushing back. They're not, you know, they're not using bananas anymore after just a few months of beating the shit out of them. They're not using walking in sunshine anymore, but they switched now to retarded shit like licking an iPhone. And do you notice how, did you watch that whole video? Did you see how many times he said the word, it's like natural radiation? Sit in front of me and tell me it's like natural radiation and I'll hit you that hard in the face, I'll bet you I'll knock half the fucking teeth out of your head. I don't care. If there's six cops right behind you, I smash you fucking good. I smash you good. You won't be fucking talking on any TV set for years when I'm fucking finished with the side of your head. And I don't give a fuck if they put the steel toe boots to me and murder me. Right on that spot. I'll take you out of the fucking game, you prick. Like a banana. Dr. John Neal. All of you fuckers out there. I'm not saying anybody in particular. I'm saying all of you fuckers. I don't give a fuck which one you are. You get up and lie like that again in front of me and I see it. You fucking pay a price for it. Fuck you. You're scum. You're scum. You're the most useless thing on this planet. You're not even fucking toilet paper. At least that got a use. You got no use. You wouldn't even make fertilizer. You're fucking garbage. You know, Ken Buechler's and Jay Collins, all the Oxford professors, Dr. Brian Dalen, all of you creatures out there that equate massive cancer radiation, ionized chain reaction fission radiation with bananas, with potatoes, with walking in the sunshine have literally drove me crazy because none of it's true. And all the media regurgitates it out, takes these idiots, puts them up there, gives them supporting evidence. So if you can check and give them supporting evidence for something that don't exist, surely the fuck you can check and give the real story where, hey, a banana got nothing to do with it, so we omitted it. How hard would that be? Say, no, look, Ken, boy, we're not going to put you up there. Your banana is not true. Well, you know, Woods Hole ain't going to advertise with you anymore. The big media corporations that are making fortunes are not going to advertise with you anymore. You're out of a job. You become useless. So everybody that works for media is a monster. Everybody that works for media is willing to fucking murder you to get a little further up that ladder. Everybody that works in the media actually hates you. Everybody that works in the media despises you. Everybody that works in the media is a well-crafted prick, is a well-crafted cunt, is a well-crafted cocksucker, is a well-crafted PR machine that will sell their fucking souls to the devil in a heartbeat for just one more nickel. It's really like that. It's truly like that. Everything out there is a monster. And the only thing left to do now is deal with the monsters. To eradicate the fucking monsters. That's where they're putting us. That's where they're pushing us. And that's what they're going to end up with. Also against them. Well, the elites are hit away somewhere else. But man, we wouldn't have any of this problem if the media would fact check that a banana got nothing to do with radiation. 
So don't come down to the point where I got to bounce a fucking pop bottle off somebody's fucking head. Or somebody else. I guarantee you that's what it's coming down to. It's coming down that one of these fuckers are going to be given a town hall meeting and the parents are going to be finally wised up and they're just going to grab it right into the fucking chair and string it up. And when the police says, who done it, the entire community is going to step forward and say, we did! We fucking hung them! We'll hang you too! Because if you don't, you're fucking done. You don't, your children are fucking done. And I'm sick of this game. I'm tired of it. It ain't gonna last any longer. You ain't getting away with it anymore. The so fuck you. We got you now. After four months, we fucking get it really well. That we can't put up with this shit anymore. It's either we bombard them with phone calls, we bombard them. We annihilate their fucking post. Still don't matter. They just keep on lying. Just don't care. Just got to keep going. Just got to tell another lie. Just can't stop themselves. Because that's what they do. That's what they are. We'd be better off taking a transfer truck. And just driving over their fucking satellite gear. You're better off fucking just pushing their vehicle off the side of the fucking road. When nobody's looking. And destroying it so they can't use it. Ultimately. If we don't take back everything ourselves, we ain't never gonna have anything on these fucking big tomers hanging off the side of our fucking heads like that whale. The only whale he's seen in 3,000 miles off Fukushima because St. Patty's Day is now Groundhog's Day for Fukushima and everything else on this planet. It takes three days for the jet streams to bring it over North America and deposit it in your children's fucking lunches. In your drinking water, in your community's ponds. Where do you think your community pond really is? Well, your pond for a community drinking supply is a pond that is aggregating from all the estuaries and lakes and rivers around it. And so it accumulates, bioaccumulates, for radioactivity from all of these lakes and estuaries and rivers. And, you know, if we don't, if we don't actually make a stand, if we don't push back, if we don't frighten the fucking shit out of them, they're not going to notice us. They're not going to pay any attention to us, just like they've always fucking done. But you got to realize that the ones that they put up, like the Ken Buechlers and the Dr. John Neals, these are cowards. These, these will fucking run away from you. Right? They'll drop their bags, they'll drop their laptop, and they will fucking run away. If you ask them a real question, if you said, hey, a banana got nothing to do with it, they would run away, because they know what you're talking about. They know what they're doing. Do you think that KRQE, in every fucking story in the first couple of weeks, mentioned bananas, mentioned background radiation of fucking water that you drink, mentioned natural background radiation, every single article mentioned x-rays and dental x-rays in every fucking article, which is a, not only a fabrication, not only a lack of fact checking, but an absolute fabrication that's meant to deceive you. That's, that's crafted by the team at that media to fool you. They know what they're fucking writing. They know what they're doing. Do you get it? That's their job. Their job is to trick you. Their job is to manipulate you. Their job is to muddle that fucking water. Their job is to keep you and your loved ones fighting with each other. Well, KRQE wouldn't lie, Dana. They're media, they're media, Dana. They talk all the big shots all the time that are all lawyers. You go ahead and show me in E equals MC square where it says add a fucking banana, add a potato, add a natural background potassium 40 of walking in sunshine. Now the kids are out throwing their toys again. 
You show me. You can't. It's got nothing to do with it. If I had a piece of a fuel rod the size of a banana, Ken Fusler would run through the wall to get away from it. <coughs> Ken Fusler would run through the wall to get away from it. Hang on. I like it. I like my banana. I like it good. I like banana. I like it. I gotta lick my iPhone charger. I gotta lick my I lick my iPhone charger. I lick it good. I like my iPhone charger. Woo! Somebody probably saying you're fucking crazy, Dana. You crazy, man. Hello, Mr. Smartphone. Hi, Google. Red dice and Fukushima water contamination suspended indefinitely. Do you get text messages like that? Probably not. Just, no, 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 what the fuck am I saying? So, a friend of mine just sent me shit and about blah, 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 Fukushima shit. Who cares about that, right? I'd rather have a banana. I want bananas because the media told me it's good. The media's day of getting away with this nonsense is fucking over. I declare today the last day that the media, all of them, are getting away with this shit. The minute I get into the studio, they're going to get it. I'm going to phone them up all day till somebody gets on the fucking phone. I don't care. Whatever it takes. I'll fucking look up their home address's number and I'll phone them there. I don't give a fuck. They can go fuck themselves. They don't got nowhere to hide as far as I'm concerned. And I'll ask them, what the fuck does a banana got to do with radioactive fallout, you prick? Live on stream. I'll be doing it all the time. Until they arrest me and lug me away. I don't give a fuck. Because I think that's what it's going to end up ultimately taking anyway, is somebody's going to get sacrificed before this actually breaks. There's going to be a fucking tragedy before the truth finally comes out like every other time in history. I hope it's not me, but I'm willing it to be me if that's what it takes. I have no problems with that. I'll hang myself from a fucking banana right now if I thought I would get attention that would change something. <laughs> I got enough videos out there. People will never forget me. I got enough information there. My little short time on this planet, I done pretty darn good. I got no regrets. I do got one regret. My one regret is I can't get my hands around this. I can't pull the hair out of their fucking head. I can't bounce a can off their fucking head when they're saying shit like that. That'd be a good viral video. Oh, it's like a banana. It's equal to the background radiation. You get more radiation from banana. <laughs> oh my God, somebody hit the man in the head with a bottle. Should have seen 20 years ago when I was growing up. <laughs> A bottle's fucking nothing. Go over to Kazakhstan. They fill the skies up with rocks and the police run away. Remember, the police, there's a thousand of you to every police officer. Americans got 300 million handguns. They got 65,000 TSA. You think if they fucking snap the TSA, Homeland Security is going to fucking do something? You know what Homeland Security is? They're Nazis. They're, they're, they're the living Nazis. They advertise for employees on coffee cups and pizza boxes, right? So you know you got a bunch of fucking monsters working for you when you do shit like that. No offense to the monsters. But at what stage, at what point, do you think anything is going to change? Right? Well, an educated society can take away a lot of their weight but it ain't till you can fucking get your hands on one of these fuckers, you scare the rest of them. It ain't till you, till you call, like if there was a 50 people at Carlsbad, stood up and told her to shut her fucking mouth, licking an iPhone charger is somehow equal to radiation. You know, fuck you, you little bitch. You stupid cunt. You stupid fucking idiot. You fucking coward. You fucking traitor. 
you maggot, telling people that radiation from nuclear chain reaction is equivalent, is not even as bad somehow as an iPhone charger because you're desperate because you can't use bananas anymore. Do you got any idea how what kind of monster it takes to do shit like that, to say shit like that, when they fucking know better? And then that headline, well, there's another bunch of new radiation, but it's not from WIP. No, because truck fires are so fucking dangerous, you can't go back underground. Right? They have truck fires all the time and mines, never stopped them from going back in there right away. And when you're talking about a multi billion dollar facility and they can't show you a single CCTV camera. You really should ask yourself what's going on because they can't show you a truck fire, see? They tried that. That didn't go over too good. Anyway, there a couple days ago, right? We destroyed that one. But see, if they had CCTV footage of a fucking salt truck fire, do you think for one second they wouldn't have shown you that? See, dear Dana, it's too late to show us something now. You had all this time. Why did you evacuate the mine in New Mexico, Carlsbad, over a fucking truck fire? Do you got any idea how big this fucking facility is? Do you got any idea how insignificant a truck fire is to that facility? Do you really get it? Huh? Can you wrap your fucking mind around how big that place is and how much smoke would come out of a fucking tire? I'm swearing a lot tonight. I don't even give a fuck. Look. A truck fire is not going to fill up a half a mile underground cavern that's designed for massive airflow, right? You just get on the other side of the fucking truck fire and you're okay. You don't have to evacuate the holy mine like they were talking about. There was heralds and everybody was rescuing each other because they had a massive radioactive leak. Not a truck fire. That's the cover story. And they don't want to stop the money. Look, for 70 years they said they were putting it in a sarcophagus. And now the only hope you got is an experimental salt mine. They've never put it in a sarcophagus. You can't put it in a sarcophagus. It can't be put in a sarcophagus. That's why they put it in your smoke detectors. That's why there's two million industries out there making money off it. That's why they put it in bullets and fired into poor people's countries. It's called dirty bombs. Not dirty bananas, but dirty bombs. Real dirty bombs. The ones they're always fear-mongering you about. Al-Qaeda's gonna get you with a dirty bomb! You don't let the TSA grope all your fat little piglets on the way to Disneyland. That fucking mine is so big, you can burn six trucks down there. And you still couldn't fill it up with fucking smoke. But we got the footage, and Mama Knox got that awesome video up there. Shows massive smoke coming out of that day after day after day. Do you think a truck fire is going to do something like that? You give your fucking head a shake. And that smoke is radioactive fallout. Right? That's from a chain reaction going on under most likely the black smoke like that. It's got nothing to do, right? They put out a fake picture of a truck that's got a destroyed tire. A couple of days ago, we destroyed that narrative. Because robots haven't even made it into the mine. They went down the shaft, came back up. Nobody's been in the mine since a truck fire. Because a truck fire is so fucking dangerous. You can't go back in, ever. And these fucking monsters in the media, these, I got no other name. I'm so disgusted. I got no respect. I don't consider them human anymore. I don't consider them emotions. They don't have emotions like me or you. They're fucking cowards. They're PR specialists who have sold their souls for what they think is a great job, what they think is an opportunity. But they got no, they got no soul. You can look in their eyes. They got no soul. They really don't. They don't have any humanity. Or... They don't have, I don't know what's the right word for it. They don't have the morals. They, they lack that. That's the only way you can have a job like that. You have to have no morals. They got all the experts on the planet trying to get that job. And the one they hired 
are the ones that are, are actually cold and calculating and capable of running you or your children over and driving away with the company's truck, right? That's all they're gonna hire. There's no reason, but they're gonna hire to the inbreed that are already got a lot of secrets in their closets that are, you know, are feeding on you and your loved ones by lying to you, by manipulating you, by using the banana or the beckles in drinking water or radiation from walking in the sunshine that got nothing to do with radioactive material. It got nothing to do with radioactive fallout. And they get away with it because we don't rise up. Because we don't get back in their fucking face. Well, that's not true for everybody here tonight. For the Fukushima crews that are out there for a lot longer than I have, by far, pushing back nonstop. I mean, I speak for myself only, in that sense, I guess, for a lot of the things I say, because I got four months at this as much as I can, with everybody else supporting me and everybody else here each night. It takes me two hours to get ready, it takes me a half an hour to shut it down after, and then I literally got to close my eyes because I'm so frustrated. I can't get my hands around one of these fuckers' necks and break it. I can't get hold of their fucking head, pull their fucking lower jaw off their fucking face when I hear that lie. Because that's what I want to do. When I hear those lies, I want to get them by the hot hair of the head and I want to swing them into something and break something on them. I want to spit on them. I definitely want to throw something at them. Right here in my own living room or anywhere else until when I hear those lies. It enrages me. It makes me indignant. This is not a society, okay, that does this. This is not a society that allows manipulators to lie for a handful of corporations and give people cancer in order to make a paycheck. Or to come out and spam my fucking video like they did last night down with stupid... Oh, the people in... Carol's band, low whip. Yeah, what kind of comment is that? You don't speak for everybody in Carol's band, you fucking prick. You coward who hides away behind a ghost account. I don't fucking hide away. I don't hide away. I, I would never hide away. I, I'm not ashamed of my words. I stand beyond my words 100%. I don't give a fuck. I can justify my words. I have no problem at all justifying my words. That I want to smash their fucking teeth out. I got no problem justifying that to any judge or any fucking jury. Not that I recognized them. But if I was arrested for threatening, that would be a good thing. I got no issues with that. Let's get it out into the media. Find out who's fucking on the right side here. Have I got every right in the planet to be indignant and pissed off and angry that they're lying to my friends, my family, and to the entire planet with these statements, these salacious, misleading, manipulative statements? And that they won't, they're not held accountable by their own producers and their editors. And so that makes them just as fucking bad. That makes them my enemy. That makes them your enemy. That makes them this entire fucking planet's enemy. Anybody that says the word banana is equal to radiation from Fukushima or Carlsbad, New Mexico, deserves to land on their back immediately after they finish those sentences. There's nothing on the planet that should be allowed to protect them from getting their teeth knocked down their fucking throat so they don't say it anymore. So they think before they open their fucking mouth next time, I can't come up with a single reason why they shouldn't be fucking hanging from a street pole I can't come up with a single reason. I will never be able to come up with a reason because it's a crime against humanity and it's a crime against our planet to release this radiation without even warning people and by making fun of anybody that says, hey, a banana got nothing to do with this. Oh, he's a crazy conspiracist. You shut your fucking pie hole. Your fucking days are coming. We're not going to forget you fuckers. All your universities and institutions that enable these cocksuckers, that let them keep their degrees and don't hold them account, don't have no checks and balances that'll fucking even go after these fuckers. You're, you're worse. 
You're, you got nowhere to hide. You got nowhere to run. The elites are going to leave you out there for us to fucking tear apart. If this goes fucking bad. And it will. It's got no choice now. It's just hemorrhaging out there saying, Paddy's Day, Groundhog's Day, every fucking day. You know, that the ocean plumes can cross the ocean 227 days at a mile an hour. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For 227 days, it's on our coastline. But every day behind that, every minute behind that, 1,440 minutes a day, is St. fucking Paddy's Day. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't fucking touch it. You can't pick it up. You can't hear it. You can't feel it. Does that mean it's not there? Does that mean it's harmless? Does that mean it's insignificant? Does that mean it is, we should ignore it and lick our iPhone chargers? Oh, I lick my iPhone charger. I'll be better. You fucking prick. Fran Williams, you fucking idiot. I hope you fucking commit suicide, you cunt. I hope you get fucking cancer in your fucking titties. Fucking. I fucking hate you. Let's put it that way. You fucking insignificant prick. The fuck is wrong with you? Do you think uh, we're stupid? You think we don't know what a banana is? That we eat potassium forty, we off gas it, but you gotta use it in every fucking media out there, like you're special, like you're fucking important. You, I tell you, you will not have two seconds to breathe after that statement in front of my fucking face if I'm sitting there. I'll bounce my fucking chair off your head. You are my enemy. You are this planet's enemy. You are a hateful, disgusting maggot. You're not human. You're a maggot. You're a, well, a maggot actually got uses. You're a parasite, a host, living on the host by lying to him. You manipulative dirtbag. You coward. That's all I got for you. It's that, how can I sit here and take this anymore without fucking screaming? I can't get me hands on you. So every day I get more frustrated. Every fucking day I just wish I can get my hands on your head and pull some of the hair out of your fucking head on a camera. Put that up on YouTube, at least I got some satisfaction. I'll do more than that to get hold of your fucking hair. I can guarantee you. You're not getting away with this anymore. I'm not going to sit idly by. Not that we have. Anymore. I'm not going to put up with it anymore. I'm calling you out from here on out every fucking chance I get. Which is consistently, constantly all I cover now. Because you people can't tell the truth. Because you people are hired and willingly mislead everybody. And you know what, what the radiation does. You know it's going to give all these children cancer. Yet you think, oh, it's okay. I work for a company, so I don't got no problems. You cold, fucking, cold-hearted pricks. You, you useless fucking maggots. I don't know how you can look anybody in the eye. I don't know how you can ever fucking walk down the street. I don't know how you can take any of your... Go out to a club or go out to a restaurant and look around think you're fucking equal to anybody else there. I don't know how you can even look at a crowd and think that they would recognize you as another human. They look at you and they probably see like a... A big lump of shit on the side of the road. If you knew what you were like. And you know that. You know you're just a lump of shit. The milk pieces for Carlsbad and Fukushima. You murdering fucking maggots. You hide away like cowards. You can't come out and confront me. You can't come out with a fucking video and say, Danny, you're on. Because the gig's up then. You gotta hide away forever. Like a coward. You got no friends. Nobody trusts you. Your parents can't fucking stand you. Your spouse is out fucking cheating on you all the time. Because you're a scumbag. They don't got no respect for you. Your dog doesn't like you. Because you're a fucking scumbag. And your dog knows that. Even the squirrels in the neighborhood won't go up your fucking tree. Because they said, hey, crazy person lives there. Nuclear freak kid. See, it's coming to the point... Where the anger is coming out now. Where you can't hold the anger back anymore. 
where I can't hold the belligerence I feel for these people, the contempt I have for them. I can't hold it back anymore. I can't disguise it anymore. I don't want to. I can't. I'm incapable at this stage. After four months, I get what's going on. I understand the manipulation and how it's done. The very people you turn on your TV set hoping to trust are the ones that will fucking stab you and rape your wife while you're dying on the side of the road. And then they'll stab her too. That's what these people are like. Everything that works for the media is a fucking monster. You can't trust it. You would not let it sit alongside of your children. You would not let it swim in your swimming pool. You would not let it on your property. That's the way you will feel for the rest of your life about these people as you wake up and understand how actually scary these monsters are and how much energy and time and effort they put into their newscast to deceive you, to manipulate your loved ones and to cause the conflicts where you can't even talk to your friends or families because these fucking monsters equated it with a banana, equated it with walking in the sunshine, equated it with the background radiation of fucking potatoes or background radiation or radiation from an x-ray. That has nothing to do with this equation. That there, And it doesn't take a very sharp mind to work out. If you're a journalist and you're doing a study or a story, you fact check, you would think. But they don't. They put up the words, hey. They say it's like the background radiation of a banana. But instead of putting below that, by the way, a banana is homeostasis. And so it's insignificant. Your body regulates that kind of radiation because it doesn't belong in the equation anyway. It's insignificant. I can eat bananas all day. I off-gas the same amount of potassium-40. I get potassium-40 in my clothing. Potassium-40 in everything I touch. It has no room in this conversation. It's not supposed to be here. But this is what we have to fight to nail every fucking day because the media won't give it up, won't give it a break, won't fucking slow down. Like they're on a fury out there to indoctrinate, brainwash every living organism on this planet before the radiation kills it. That it was bananas that got you. It was walking in the sunshine that got you. It was the x-ray you got when you were 12 years old that finally got you. No! We had more radiation today in New Mexico, but it's not from Carlsbad. It's not from WIP. We don't know where the fuck it's from, though. But it can't be from that place where the plumes were coming out of there and no one has ever been back down there before. Haha, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's one of my worst streams ever, I think, tonight. Just fucking angry. Watching the pricks all day. To the point where I can't take it anymore. So I'm so glad I'm not close to one of them. Because I don't trust myself today. I got no doubt I... I got no doubt what I would do if I get my hands on their fucking side of their head. I don't for a second. If I was at a meeting and they said shit like that, I got no doubt what's going to happen. You better be fucking fast, because I'll be coming for you. And I'll be taking you, knocking you on your fucking arse. And the next time you get in front of a camera, you won't be wanting to have people around, because you'll be shitless, scared shitless, terrified that another Dana might be out there somewhere. All right, folks, here we go. I'm pretty well shit myself out tonight. Blah, screaming in rage. You know I'm not talking to you. Tonight I'm talking to all the media out there. Tonight I'm talking directly to those people. I'm so fucking angry. I've watched so many lies now. I just, I don't know what, I don't know what to say anymore in this context where every time we hear another release, they say it's not from there. They don't say where it's from, but they say it's no different than normal. It's one-tenth of an x-ray. A radioactive isotope or atom or particle can never be one-tenth of an x-ray. An x-ray's got nothing to do with this equation. The particle goes in you, the atom goes in you, the isotope goes in you. You never get it out. You get a tumor, a cancer. And you don't just get one. Okay, there we go, folks. I fucked up tonight. I know. I'm sorry. 
one of those nights. Miss Melky. Miss Melky says it was good. I'm just saying I don't normally snap like this. I'm apologizing, I guess, more so than anything else. Look, I'm just sorry that you sat there tonight <laughs> and and heard that side of me. Cause I, I, what am I supposed to do at this stage? I begged these people. I humiliated these people. Kind of enjoyed it. I begged them. We begged them. We. I don't know how many messages I have sent to these fuckers. I never got a single response. Well, I got one response, but I, I mean, that wasn't even legible. They don't respond to you. They don't stop doing what they're doing. I mean, that's a little bit on the shelf at this stage. I know I'm kind of jumping the gun by saying that because we don't really hear him saying bananas in the last couple of weeks. We don't hear him saying sunshine because we have lost it, right? We have went insane in the last couple of weeks. And all these lies, I mean, whip, whip, they never went down in this facility since a truck fire. Huh. So nine days later, this says he got a radiation release. Gee, you don't suppose two of them are connected? You'd be stupid to think that they're not. Why wouldn't you go back down in a mine, a great big fucking wide, huge, massive, multi-billion dollar, well, extraordinarily ventilated, ventilated place? Why wouldn't you go down there after truck fire is out? Huh? It's not going to hurt the integrity. It's not like you just can't walk down halfway and have a look and say, yeah, it looks a little bit rough over there, the fire. It looks like it burnt the roof a little bit. You could do something like that, couldn't you? They didn't. And so every day they lie to you. Every day they manipulate you. Don't fucking forget it, folks. Not you folks that are here at night. Don't get me wrong, you folks. I love you to pieces. Well, say good night to everybody. Um... And I never got to the shit I'm supposed to get to. I gave Grey Rose Tint, Missing Sky. Yeah, good night, everybody. You know, at what point, I'm gonna light up the cigarette just for badness as I close it down tonight. I just wanna finish up by saying that it's got no filter and no chemicals in my cigarette like yours, mom sir. Kate's got the Fuka Hounds blog, and you'll find Kate Yolse. Um, and so keep check, you know, check her site. She's they're doing a lot of work. All those folks over there. It's not just Kate, right? It's everybody else that's over there that makes it work, right? And they're getting more and more all the time. You've got all kinds of links below. You've got all these comments. Amazing people here tonight that are not here for something to do. They're here because. They understand, right, that only rallying and showing strength, showing support, is the only thing that is going to keep the momentum going. And I, I probably will never do this again like tonight, but tonight I had to get it off my system that I can't take this anymore, that I just can't take this lying anymore from the media, that you, you, you've pushed it too far now, that all, I think I speak for all of us when I say that Please, please, like if you're not going to tell the truth, just don't say anything at all. Like you got to stop the lying, you got to stop the manipulating. You can't just, you can't throw away our planet like this for a paycheck. I don't, I don't know why you're doing this to us. I don't know what we've done to you to make you hate us so much, to despise us so much that you think that it's okay to manipulate our loved ones and our friends and our families with propaganda. Don't think we don't know who you are. Don't think we're not paying attention now. Don't think we're not going to work this fucking out. Don't think we're not going to hold you accountable. You'll be making you'll be making a serious fucking mistake. We're, we're we outnumber you. You can't control us anymore. You can't fucking manipulate us anymore. Your robots, overlords, are not here to protect you, and we will fucking come for you. We will fucking come for you now. We can't take this anymore. This constant lying. You're the, you're the fucking problem, not us. We're the solution. You're the fucking problem in the media. You have to fucking stop and think about what you're doing to this entire fucking planet and how, how powerful you are with what you're doing. 
and that that don't work no more. You 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 have destroyed everything good with your lies, and we're gonna hold you to a higher standard. Make no mistake about it. We are coming for you, and you will fucking know that we were here. That I can guarantee you. Sorry, folks. That's the way it goes some nights. We'll catch you more late. I'll come in. Read the comments after. I'm not apologizing. I'm. I think I'm apologizing to myself for allowing me to snap, because <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. But I just can't hold it back anymore. I just can't contain it anymore. Right? I. I. I'm not mad for something to do. I'm mad because every time I go to these people for information, they throw in bananas into the equation. They throw in drinking water into the equation. They throw walking in the sunshine into the equation of E equals MC squared. And so help me fuck. You wouldn't say it to my face? I don't give a fuck who you are or how many police you got stood behind you. I will knock your fucking teeth out of your head. I'll have that satisfaction. I don't give a fuck. But I do give a fuck about everybody here tonight. Hugs for everybody. Once again, my apologies for all the swearing. I know that's not much I can do about it. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't, right? We'll catch you folks tomorrow night. They're licking some iPhones. Well, lick those fucking iPhones tomorrow night, Chargers. We don't care. We're tough around here. Bit of lead never hurt nobody. <laughs>